This is Terry Kurtz online reporting on Victor Valley High Desert and Mojave River Valley events, activities, entertainment, sports, and history. Looking back in sports, entertainment, and academic competition history, Granite Hills students tackle discrimination and bias issues in the Apple Valley Unified School District's 2018 Science Fair. My project focused on if students have a racial bias towards their teachers. Waste not, want not? Converting biodegradable garbage into compost is tackled by Sitting Bull 7th grader Avalon Kissinger. Her project at the annual Apple Valley Unified School District Science and Engineering Fair. 117 entries from the Apple Valley Unified School District's elementary and secondary schools compete. This year's individual and group projects range in categories including microbiology and zoology, math and physics, electronics, earth science, and consumer science. High school students' projects deal with researching perceptions and preferences in terms of bias and discrimination. My project focused on if students have a racial bias towards their teachers. My project deals with different ethnicities wearing similar clothes and whether or not their clothes and their ethnicity will encourage discrimination or whether a singular will encourage discrimination. My project involves psychological manipulation dealing with age, gender, and race. Originally I had hypothesized that uh, students would prefer to have a white teacher versus an African American teacher. I hypothesized, hypothesized that all students would prefer the white teacher just because that's what they're more experienced to, um, to seeing. So, but my results contradicted that hypothesis and 90% of the students I, inter or I surveyed chose the African American teacher. Uh, I learned that we discriminate a lot more than we would imagine we would and that we may discriminate unconsciously without being cognitively aware of. I learned that the female subjects I used were more resilient into being agree into agreeing with the general norm of what my controls were trying to convince them into, and that the older subjects were also generally more resilient, but the younger subjects were more susceptible to go with the norm. Gabriel Reeder returns to the winner's circle. The Sun Devils Junior has competed in and won top honors at the district's annual competition since he was an elementary school student. I enjoy like being able to find out new things that you could use. Like if you are not sure about a topic, you could go and do some research and maybe make a project out of it and learn some stuff about it. Winners advance to the San Bernardino County Science and Engineering Fair in April. Apple Valley High School junior Dominic Schlosser won the silver medal for Computer Numerical Control Turning Specialist at the 2022 Skills USA National Leadership and Skills Competition in Georgia. His plans for his upcoming senior year include training students and reinvigorating the Apple Valley Engineering Extension program that uses 21st century tools such as 3D printers, CNC machines, laser cutters, and other advanced manufacturing technology. Let's go back to 2015. The Apple Valley High School Precision Machining and Design program prepares students for careers in engineering, design, and machining. Students gain hands-on experience on cutting-edge machinery, literally and figuratively. These students are working on the CNC lathe. I'm actually from AP Physics, and right now we're working on a project. So what we have to do is we have to make a boat. And so I can use the machines we have here, like the CNC lathe and the manual lathe, to help me build my boat and, you know, to cut out the parts and things like that. Basically, our test is to use the blueprints and to create this. And so what I'm doing right now is I put some bluing ink on here, and I use a little scribe to help mark off my points. So that would be these points right here and I'm trying to zero out my axes, which are those over there. No, the and so uh, I just want to make sure that they're zeroed pressure. off so when There's I go in and make my cuts, I have the right measurements. Down. According to the blueprint, it says we have to go 0.75 across each of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to start and this is what I did on this. So what I did was I took this and I basically measured out 0.75 on each 
so I could see this is exactly no, 0.75. So I did right the same thing on my work piece, and I took it and I measured it out, and did I put little <laughs> scribes, so that way I made sure okay. I had my correct measurements. I was like, oh shoot, it's getting loose. That's what that was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The CNC Leith is just one part of the program students experience as they become college and career ready. The program is a joint investment of the Apple Valley Unified School District, the San Bernardino County Board of Supervisors, and business partners. Skills USA competition, robotics specifically, and technology in general have come a long, long way since video sports covered Victor Valley High School students winning state competition in 2012, and our audio sounded as though it was coming through an echo chamber. Victor Valley High School state champions, Skills USA engineering and technology. The Jackrabbit's team designed a bicycle with self-sustaining renewable energy. Oh, I actually built the bike by putting all the components together. I also helped design it. Hey, I actually helped Chris make the bike itself, and I uh, make the storyboard. I also redesigned a new frame for it that we're going to try to build and use for our next competition. But we have gone to a competition called Skills USA which is a program where we can go and uh, compete against uh, many students in, of California. And well, that program has really opened up our minds to robotics. These three are among two dozen students in the school's inaugural engineering and technology class. Uh, this project is to help us like lift balls with this and put them into a different uh, position or spot. This, this arm moves up and down really fast, but we're about to put a, a second one on this side so it has even more torque on it. We basically built a robot from a kit from Vex Robotics, and what we do is we build them to do basic functions such as picking up objects or by having them go in an autonomous mode, which is basically a way the robot will maneuver by itself. The robotics class is under the Lead the Way program of Millionaire Minds, funded by grants. Uh, we're, we're in the Project Lead the Way, the Principles of Engineering class. What we're doing right now is the design process. We define a problem, create a solution, follow through, put the design process to use, and then we discuss it and see what modifications we could make at the end of it there. A second team from this class came in second in the state. They designed a wheelchair with improved access by the operator. Computers is a very big technology that is mainly used, and we use a lot of computers to program the robots. So that gives you some skills of how to use a computer, how to maneuver a computer. It also helps out because the U.S. is in need of engineers, so this field gives you a bit of a taste of what engineering is all about, and hopefully we're going to get new programs, and you can do basically about anything with computers, and it's a great field. In 2017, three Apple Valley High School fabrication and welding students compete in Kentucky in the National Skills USA Welding Finals. I'm Bryce Avance, and this is the Skills USA co fabrication contest. Of course. Uh, my name is Ryan Mindel. Uh, and how do you spell your last name, Ryan? M-E-I-N-D-L. Ryan, what uh, what's your role on this team? Uh, I'm the captain, or and then the uh, Stick welder or arc welding. What's your name? Uh, Jaden Roop. How do you spell your last name? Is uh, it J-A-Y-D-E-N? Yes, sir. And last name, how do you spell it? R-O-U-P-E. Okay. I'm uh, oxy welding, um, sti or MIG welding, and some flux core welding. Uh, so kind of an all-around everything I do. Yeah. I'm the TIG welder. What, what is it? The TIG welder. What, what is a TIG welder? It's a different process of welding. The consumable electrode melts the metal and you dip a filler rod into it to make the weld and to fuse the two pieces of metal together. Uh, MIG welding, so you have a, a gun with the trigger and it's the wires fed through the gun, the copper wire. 
Um, and then I do flux core welding. It's the same thing as stick welding, just same thing as MIG, just with a flux coating on the outside of that wire. It's a GMA, G M A W, and it's a type of process that we use, uh, which we have a stinger and an electrode that has a continuous burn. We're high school fabrication, so we uh, they give us a design set plans of what they want us to build for, for nationals. Usually they give us material, but we want to build. This one they give us what we need to build, what materials we're using, and how we're going to build it, and how much time, which is six and a half hours. So with the teamwork process, we all have to take our own like the chunk, of the carry our own weight, you know, if it makes sense. Where one person's cutting, one person's welding, one person's grinding, or sanding. Uh, we got to make it work and flow like a river. You know, you can't have any obstructions. Uh, and with these practices, it helps build as a team and prepares us for our competition in Kentucky. So this is a rocket stove. Uh, so what it technically what it does is right here you have your wood feeder and it feeds it down into here in the bottom here and it creates your, uh, your smoke or flame or whatever you want to use and then it builds up into here, you put your meat on top and you barbecue up here. This latch folds open here. Um, then you have a little slide here where the ash falls out, to clean it all out, push it back in and on the back you have, uh, you can do it called a potato, uh, potato warmer. Uh, you feed your potatoes with aluminum foil and slide them in here at the top and then take them out at the bottom, that way they're warm, nice. We are practicing, so we build two of them, here's one, and we're building in the middle of building another one. And when we get there to Kentucky, we have to build a whole another one in six and a half hours. Uh, it's more mentally uh, challenging knowing the time, uh, working with all these materials and hoping to get everything cut right and under the time constraint. Uh, but with these practices, it helps a lot to build that confidence up and prepare us for this weekend. Right, so what's the toughest part of it? Is it the time pressure or just the, it, the, the craftsmanship? Almost, almost everything. We have to cut everything and make sure everything fits nice and we run into problems and we run into things that work well. It, it's real challenging uh, with if there's hiccups you're going to have to fix those hiccups. There's, that takes time. We don't have much time, of course, uh, so everything has to f process just right and cut just right and everything. What classes have you taken at Apple Valley High School in welding and fabrication? Uh, so, uh, actually, a lot of uh, physics. Physics helped me out a lot with this. And then I've been a welding student for four years, so we took the, the SolidWorks class where you do all your computer design. Then you know you do your intermediate and go through all your welds, stick welding, TIG welding, MIG welding, uh, oxygen settling welding, um, and then you go to the advanced class and that's when you use, you know make your own project. So learning and figuring it out on yourself and having Penfold teach us and help us out kind of prepares us for everything. But learning the math between you know normal math and physics and trying to get everything put together is what really helped me. That's great. That's very very good. Thank you for these comments. Thank We're you. Flying out Sunday morning. Yeah. To right now rainy. Yeah, rainy, humid Kentucky. Kentucky, so uh, good luck. Look forward to hearing the results. Thank you. We flash back to 2018. Competition in Skills USA underway this day at Granite Hills High School in Apple Valley. High school and now middle school teams compete. Winners in this regional leadership event advance to the state Skills USA competition. We've got 46 different schools represented here today for about 300 students. They're competing in things like job interview and promotional bulletin board, chapter display, uh, lots of different contests that are showing off their leadership skills that they've been working on all throughout their, their uh, high school careers. Well, we have to promote Skills USA in general. We have to provide occupational information, as in universities you could apply to that you can use skills USA skills in a way. It involves just a lot of hard work and we're, we're actually competing a chapter display so we have to display how our chapter is helping us get be successful in the workforce. In the presentation I more sit off to the side but during working on the project, I'm more hands-on, so that's why we are all good together, because we all do our different parts. What do you enjoy most about the Skills USA competition? Just the fun that it brings and the teamwork, because we've, my, me and my team have be, become close because of it. Teams of five go head-to-head -head in the highly spirited Quiz Bowl. Um, well, there's a, there's 
several of the questions that they ask, um, ask and kind of like Jeopardy. Quiz Bowl is a mix of questions. There's no really way to refer it. It's just like a mix of everything. What kind of questions are there? The combination is current events, this gives you a say handbook, uh, there's a lot of medical questions, and a little bit of math. History. Right. This gives you a say standard, social studies, politics, science, math, but they're rather simple questions. Apple Valley Unified School District high schools have been very successful in Skills USA competition. Apple Valley High School does a fantastic job every year in Skills USA uh, at the regional, state, and national level. We have many students that advance from a regional level that we're at today to the state level to represent their school and their district as the top in their area. There are six regions in California. They compete at the state level, and if they win there, they get to move on to the national level where they represent the entire state of California to the nation, which is a fantastic honor. Every year, Apple Valley High School has around 10 students or so that get that honor to go represent at that level. Uh, last year, we had students in, um, in web pages design and digital cinema and promotional bulletin board going to represent all of California and they did very well. Digital cinema and web page design both got sixth in the nation. What's the secret? Why is Apple Valley High School so successful in Skills USA competition? I have to say it's definitely because of the comprehensive nature of our school. So we have a vast offering of career technical education courses. Uh, the things that students are able to find and love at our school is so many more than you tend to see at schools nowadays. Uh, we do more than just the academic curriculum. We have the honors programs, we have all those. We also have auto shop and welding and uh, culinary arts and a, a vast uh, computer program. So with all of those offerings, a student can find a place that they want to be and that they can connect to and use that to succeed and find something they're passionate about and, and we show that in our competitions and how well we do. Apple Valley High School senior Itzel Gonzalez has been crowned California's Miss Amazing Teen Queen 2019. This pageant is the largest in the nation dedicated to celebrating and empowering girls and women with disabilities. We met Itzel Gonzalez when she was competing in Skills USA baking competition. Hi, my name is Itzel Gonzalez. It's Al Gonzalez is among the 55 Apple Valley High School students advancing to state in Skills USA competition. She is in the Action Skills category. In her leadership presentation, It's Al Gonzalez tells she has Down syndrome. I have Down syndrome. I work in I work in really real hard. She has a part time now, job. I work um I work at a restaurant. I work um Mama Capano. And reveals her future plans to attend college yeah, and eventually open goal. her own I bakery. I want to go to college. Open open my own bakery. Competing in Skills USA is just one ingredient in this outstanding student's recipe for preparing for her future. I work in really, really hard. Congratulations to California Miss Amazing Teen Queen Itzel Gonzalez, and best of luck in the national pageant in Chicago in August. Apple Valley High School Computer and Media Pathway students prepare for Skills USA opening Thirty round competition. Skills USA is a national program involving students who are preparing for careers in trade, technical, and skilled service occupations. Apple Valley sends by 133 feet. students to Skills USA competition this year for Sun Devils junior Samantha Sammy Solis, her third year competing in this Skills USA. So Career Pathway Showcase is a competition showcasing whatever CTE program you're in and how it can prepare you for career readiness. So basically we are doing, because we are in an informational technology program, so we are showcasing how CAMP has affected our community and like we're basing our project off of the way we share technology with schools in our area. So we're going to middle schools um, in the district and we're showing them certain skills that they might need or certain skills they're working on um, to kind of advance their program or whatever they're doing. Uh, for the past three years we've done this competition which is CPS where we're um, showcasing our academy and the community service project that we have to help the younger schools with their um, to ready to get them ready to come into camp and then last year we attempted to do um, 
promotional bulletin board, which came out good, which is the bulletin board right there, which mm -hmm. was showcasing skills. And we had to make a board to, to hold up in the office so that way people who would walk into the office, they would be informed as to what skills was, and if they were interested, they would come into the meetings that we would have throughout the month, throughout the years. Four Sun Devils freshmen comprise the entrepreneurship team. They will compete against teams with students from all grade levels. So entrepreneurship for Skills USA is really just a visual and kind of verbal presentation on the market and the uh, kind of company we build on our own. Um, I'm the chief financial officer, so I take care of all the finances and figure out what we need to do to make our app actually run. Um, my name is Tice Ali, and I'm going to make the application. I am in charge of uh, like getting our ads out there and publicity mostly. Well, our app right now is kind of an uh, errand-based system to where you can post your errands that you need done and you put it on a kind of message board for other people around the world to see. Um, this week I'm figuring out, I'm talking to an accountant to help me figure out how the numbers are going to work and what I need to um, like hire a coder and figure out our future financial. Okay. Um, so I have to like figure out um, how much it'll like cost for each ad and then I'll like transfer that to our CFO. My favorite part is coding the app and figuring out how we're going to make it and showing our judges that we know how to do make the app for it. I think, honestly, um, I'd say advertising. Mm -hmm. I think advertising is probably my favorite so far. Mm -hmm. Getting everything out there, figuring out how it actually gets out there. Good. My favorite part would probably be like the flexibility that we get to have with our like imagination I guess like how we get to create it by ourselves. Typical for photographers they enjoy capturing on camera images of others not being on camera themselves. My main role in camp as a whole is photography. I'm pretty high up there I would say with editing. I'm not gonna like brag too much but I'm fairly good at editing photos. Caitlin, uh, well, what's your role here as a photographer? What do you do? I just Take well, pictures? <laughs> yeah, mainly I just take pictures of our surroundings. Like we go out during class and take pictures of the school and edit them so that we can put it as our Chromebook backgrounds. About photography, I enjoy just capturing the beautiful moments. Um, just, just like what I do, I randomly take pictures of things that bring interest into me and then I make it into something more when I edit it. Mm -hmm. I take pictures. I love editing pictures. That's my favorite part of taking pictures. All right. And uh, what grade are you in? I'm a junior. How does this all tie into Skills USA? When you get into the competition, what you submit, it can be of anything. Yeah. Is it have to be school related or no? No. Oh. Well, when we get there, we take pictures of the school, but we take two pictures with us that don't have to do with anything. Wow. So you're judged in part on spontaneous of what you do that day. Oh. <laughs> what has this whole camp program done for you at Apple Valley High School? Uh, it's given me the opportunity to uh, have, so Pariah has given us um, all these equipment that we're allowed to use and so we can be creative, we can uh, make the certain videos that we want or any creative process we can make and so um, the one thing I love about camp is just there's no right or wrong thing if you make a video, it's just like if you make a video and you personally like it, everyone's going to enjoy it and find something in it that they like. And so it's just everyone's always um, accepting and then so that's always a good thing in a program like this. And then it's just we learn a lot through each other. It's almost like a family, so that's the biggest part too. Right, thank you guys. Competition in Skills USA underway this day at Granite Hills High School in Apple Valley. High school and now middle school teams compete. Winners in this regional leadership event advance to the state Skills USA competition. We've got 46 different schools represented here today for about 300 students. They're competing in things like job interview and promotional bulletin board, chapter display, uh, lots of different contests that are showing off their leadership skills that they've been working on all throughout their, their uh, high school careers. Well, we have to promote Skills USA in general. We have to provide occupational information, as in universities you could apply to that you can use skills you say skills in a way it involves just a lot of hard work and we're, we're actually competing a chapter display so we have to display how our chapter is helping us get be successful in the workforce 
In the presentation, I more sit off to the side, but during working on the project, I'm more hands-on, so that's why we are all good together, because we all do our different parts. What do you enjoy most about the Skills USA competition? Just the fun that it brings and the teamwork because we've, my, me and my team have be, become close because of it. Teams of five go head to head in the highly spirited quiz bowl. Um, well, there's, a, there's several questions that they ask, um, ask and kind of like Jeopardy. Quiz bowl is a mix of questions. There's no really a way to refer it, just like a mix of everything. What kind of questions are they? The combination is current events, this gives you a handbook, uh, there's a lot of medical questions, and a little bit of math. History. Right. Skills USA standards, social studies, politics, science, math, but they're rather simple questions. <laughs> Apple Valley Unified School District High Schools have been very successful in Skills USA competition. Apple Valley High School does a fantastic job every year in SkillsUSA uh, at the regional, state, and national level. We have many students that advance from a regional level that we're at today to the state level to represent their school and their district as the top in their area. There are six regions in California. They compete at the state level, and if they win there, they get to move on to the national level where they represent the entire state of California to the nation, which is a fantastic honor. Every year, Apple Valley High School has around 10 students or so that get that honor to go represent at that level. Uh, last year, we had students in, um, in web pages design and digital cinema and promotional bulletin board going to represent all of California and they did very well. Digital cinema and web page design both got sixth in the nation. What's the secret? Why is Apple Valley High School so successful in Skills USA competition? I have to say it's definitely because of the comprehensive nature of our school. So we have a vast offering of career technical education courses. Uh, the things that students are able to find and love at our school is so many more than you tend to see at schools nowadays. Uh, we do more than just the academic curriculum. We have the honors programs, we have all of those. We also have auto shop and welding and uh, culinary arts and a, a vast uh, computer program. So with all of those offerings, a student can find a place that they want to be and that they can connect to and use that to succeed and find something they're passionate about and, and we show that in our competitions and how well we do. Terry Kurtz Online was brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville. Down Home Grill's kids' $3 menu includes grass-fed cheeseburger, organic chicken tenders, grilled cheese with fries and berries, or salad and drink. Call 760-241-4663 for delivery. drive through curbside, or pickup. Down Home Grill, corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Road in Victorville. Bid fast and last, world-class auctioneers. Bid fast and last, liquidation of government entities, vehicles, firearms, estates, antiques, fine jewelry, coins, and more. Bid online at bidfastandlast.com. Any kick tires, start fires, kick ass, take names, and rock and roll. Go, go, go. Valu Quality Truck Bodies, family owned and operated locally since 1954. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Valu Quality Truck Bodies, proudly showcasing teams, athletes, and youth-oriented activities. The Bradco Companies, Joseph W. Brady's Bradco Companies, the high desert Mojave River Valley's longest standing commercial brokerage firm. Bradco, leading efforts to improve the quality of life and standard of living for all residents throughout our high desert region. Serious legal problems? Don't go alone. The other guys have attorneys just waiting to blow you away. Contact Iwanzak. Iwanzak Law Firm. Trial lawyers for serious problems. Silverwood presents this online report. The developers of the Silverwood Master Planned Community support the events, youth activities, and programs of our high desert Mojave River Valley communities. We got them tees. Your headquarters for custom screen printing and master craft embroidery designs. We got them. Official CIF sanctioned Chanel patches for varsity jackets. We got them tees since 1984. Two locations, Apple Valley and Upland. Oh yeah, we got them tees. And by the Holiday Inn in Victorville. The Holiday Inn, conference and convention center for the high desert and destination of choice of visitors and travelers to the Victor Valley.
That's a wrap on this edition of Terry Kurtz Online. On behalf of Victor Valley Television Productions, thank you for watching. We hope to see you again next time around.